I want you to come and listen to the testimony of Wade and Barbie Hazen, as that you all know, and uh, hear their story about what God has done in their life to lead them to where they're going. So Wade and Barbie, thank you for being here with us, <laughs> and it's great to have you guys here. Yeah, thank you. Thank our, you. Our pleasure. And uh, Wade and Barbie, could you just kind of share with our folks here what the Lord has been speaking to you and how this all happened? Yeah, this started back in um, about 2004, where the Lord began to, to talk to us about uh, Colorado, actually. And, you know, I, I know just uh, in, those, in those early days, uh, just kind of wondering what's, what's God up to. And um, we come out here in 2005 on our motorcycle. And you came here from? From uh, in southern Indiana. Bedford, southern Indiana. Bedford, Indiana. Lisi wasn't sending you to Nebraska or something like right. that. Right. No, because, no. <laughs> no. No, he's, he's uh, been kind to send us to a pretty place. Anyway. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so in, uh, throughout 2005, we, we, just, we could hear God speaking clearly to us about Colorado, and then he, he made it clear that, that at least clear to be in Grand Junction, it wasn't really clear about what to do other than to work for him. So I, I leave with, with, you know, with approximately 10 years of a Baptist background, 10 years of Assembly of God, but with no training on, you know, or anything, what, how do you start a church? But we came here in uh, the summer of 06 to start a church. That, that was, that's what we came here to do. And then, and then the Lord sovereignly leads you to Canyon View, and you, you eventually come on staff. And your time here on staff at Canyon View has really been a training time for you. Absolutely. I, I, I knew after I'd been here a month, you know, God just made it evident to me that, you know, wait, I, I put you here to train you. It's basically learn your lessons well, you know, and, and there, you know, we didn't know, obviously, the, the beyond, but definitely had been put here to be trained. Yes. And so the Lord has been speaking to you about a certain place. Mm -hmm. yes. And he's been speaking to you about going on and using what you've learned here to go plant a church. Correct. Say what, what God specifically has done in that. It, it started for me with a neighbor. Um, and this guy was from Montana, and he was always talking about Montana, and always wearing Montana t-shirts, you know, and, and just, just on and on about how great it was in Montana. And so I asked him one day, I said, Dave, what are you doing here? Why are you in Grand Junction? You have no family here. A retired guy. And he said, I don't know. He said, I just thought I'd come down and check out Grand Junction. And the Lord spoke to me in that moment and said, wait, I put Dave in your life for reasons bigger than you know. Hmm. So that, that really got me thinking about the same way that he moved us to Colorado. Now I'm hearing Montana. Hmm. And, and, you know, you just lock that away. I mean, you, you don't have enough to run on at that point, mm -hmm. you know, and... And re really, it wasn't till after you had been on for a while, Pastor Kirk, that it, I began to realize that this, what, this is what the vineyard is. It is a church planning movement. Just like when we came here, we had to pin down where in Montana. And really through, through talking with the vineyard folks in Montana and, uh, and there again, some of the crazy little witnesses, bumper stickers and, and the ways, because heaven has to come to earth for us to be able to see the signs of it. <laughs> Uh, there was really only um, only going to be one place in Montana, and that's uh, Missoula. And that, uh, that we really believe that there are, besides Barbie and I, that there are 10 to 12 people uh, from Canyon View that, that are supposed to go with us to make this trek. And so the desire would be to welcome a team yes. to move to Missoula with you yes. so that a small little army can go and yes. change Missoula for the kingdom. Yes. Yes. And that it would go with the blessings of Canyon View. Yes. And that you would be basically like an extension of Canyon View as we uh, send you up there mm -hmm. to go plant a, a vineyard church in Missoula. And then you have a, a little meeting or get together that you want people to are invited to come to. Right. Uh, we'd like to invite folks to an informational meeting, and that'll be uh, right here at the church. In fact, I will meet you out in the lobby, the administration area. On Monday, July 27th at 6 p.m., I, I just I, I want to invite people to 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 get in on a, a ride, 
and, and there again, uh, we know that this is not for everyone, but we, we really do believe that there are, there are 10 to 12 that are supposed to join with us in this endeavor and to step into that, uh, that next part of your destiny, that thing that, uh, that, that really you, you were born to do, that, right. that, that God has been preparing you to do all your life up till now. That's great. 